Is Dust Network a sleeping giant or is it a failed project? For many Dust Codlers it has been a waiting game. A passionate community that believes in their project leaders like no others. Dare to say anything wrong about the Dust Network and the Dusketeers? They will be ready to go to war. Now the moment of truth will arrive soon for Dusk as the testnet has been announced for the 1st of February this year. But before we start that, let's have a look at Dusk Network in detail. See Dusk Network must have started like this exciting idea with a let's do it mentality. You can see this by the amount of delays that this project has had since it was created and all its enthusiasm. See it's much harder to execute a project like this because of the regulations. The regulatory framework around securities are not yet the same as crypto assets, will probably never be the same. The idea of tokenizing shares would make the share market as liquid as crypto assets and that sounds like a future to me, but how do you work around regulations? Well that's a very good question and perhaps even a harder task. The Dusk decided to make an attempt at cracking the hardest part of the crypto world. Are you ready to step into a world full of dinosaurs? You know, where you know you will offer a solution that's going to take some money away from brokers, banks, exchanges, administrator cost voting, ah, heck, I don't even know where to start. It's ambitious to say the least, but it's biggest and it's got the biggest cost saving any crypto project can offer. The equity market is well into the trillions and to just get a small piece of the pie would mean, would mean you have a network effect of that. Would I believe in the vision, go big or go home. When I see the Dusk Network, that's what I see and what I like. They will go big or fail or there's no really in between. With the hype around zero knowledge, Dusk Network could be posed to be one of the best crypto assets in 2022. It's the first privacy smart contract platform and we all know the advantage of first mover advantage. Hint, Ethereum. Dusk Network has set itself up in such a way that it's more than just a pipe team as they're working strategically and targeting smaller markets that will attract the big fish. Fisherman knows what bait to use and Dusk is going after the wills and the institutions. Names like BlackRock, Vanike, Euroclear, I've heard them. And why not? Imagine for a second that you're one of these institutions and you can adopt a tech that saves you money, makes you more efficient and where you can help to secure the network and earn rewards. These rewards can be compounded by interest and your speculative investment is probably one of the biggest generational opportunity in a lifetime because your adoption will create insane capital gain. And if you can do this in a regulatory way, then there's nothing stopping you from making an investment where you know you will do a hundred or a thousand X. At least I would think so. There are many blockchains that are trying to do the same thing, one trick pony, but there's only a few that will outshine them. You might have heard of the famous term ghost chain. Well, the question I ask myself is, could Dusk Network be one of those ghost chains? Well, the answer is no, because it's not a chain yet. It's just ERC20 token. But let's say they get that chain up and guns working. What are the chances of it actually surviving? Now, that's a very good question in a space that is extremely competitive and a shortage of skills either. See, I believe there is a case for Dusk and it's a good one. But in order for me to say this, I need to make my case. So I'm going to make you the judge. Please let me know in the comments below if you agree with me. And if you do actually, then hit me with a subscribe and a like button like you've never done before. What makes something valuable? Well, what can I do? What makes Microsoft valuable? Well, everybody can operate the computer simply or Apple or Facebook. All these guys develop something that saves you time and money, makes tasks more efficient and allow communication, and this is communication, much, much better. Shares take three days. Dusk is doing the same thing with security in a decentralized way. And that's not the only thing. See, I saw a very interesting statement of Emmanuel from Dusk, which made me think. This is what he said. All the other networks seem to me like a glorified digital blockchain where people can digitalize certificates. Now let that sink in. How do you know you own your property? Well, it's registered on your name, your identity. If it wasn't, it could be just an NFT token and you might be able to lose it when you lose your password or send it to the wrong wallet. Beside that, you cannot send shares to somebody who doesn't want them. That's called a forced transfer. You cannot force me to accept shares. It's against regulations. They cannot get you, what, and if you lose your private key, you lose your shares. It's all gone. 
The same counts for shares and possibly even central bank digital currencies. Let's say you have an argument with your wife and she knows your password. She could transfer your assets to a different address, an anonymous address, and you just lost out. Now, this is the current situation in the crypto world. You can send Bitcoin to whoever. I believe real ownership comes with identity being connected to it, to an asset. Otherwise, it's just a digital certificate that can be lost. 50K, 100K, doesn't matter. So how do you do this in a private and secure and decentralized way? Now, that's mathematical knowledge called zero knowledge proof. It's a huge task that Dusk has been working on for the past three, four years. Making, privacy, making a privacy virtual machine is one of the hardest things that is. It takes a lot of cryptography. The SSC requires that shares can always be controlled by the issuer. In other words, the issuer initiates the contract and mints the shares on the Dusk network has control over these shares at any time, even when they're already in the wallet of you, you as investor. This is called a force transfer. The Dusk network has these functions built into the smart contracts from the ground up. You can see this as a domino effect. When a transaction is initiated, it follows the program smart contract in the following order. But how can you be decentralized like this? Hmm. Well, the SBA protocol is so designed that it rewards the individual but provides economical disadvantage for those who seek to centralize power through pooling. In other words, node operators are more rewarded for their individual work than when they start working as a collective. It's simply genius. Now, you might have heard of the term Chinese copycat. Most, most privacy platforms are actually using some of the work that has been created by Dusk, like Ploink and Poison. Projects like Mina, for example, they are already a much higher market cap than Dusk. See, we have many copycats in the blockchain space, and that term is often used as forking. It's copying that what others did. Change it slightly and take advantage of what others have done before you, or use the brand name. So let's say, for example, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin SV, Bitcoin Diamond, you name it. None of them I like. Shareholders need a single point of entry that should not be possible on a blockchain that serves financial instruments that additionally share equities are, that are created out of thin air, thus doubling the amount of outstanding shares. Simply put, Dusk has fixed this with their SBA protocol by building in fork resistance into the protocol. You cannot simply fork the Dusk network. The protocol won't allow it. Now, transparency is great in the blockchain space, but it's not ideal when it comes to securities, as this can lead to price manipulation. This is a topic that we can expect in the future among regulators, even with crypto assets. Now, wallet of big addresses and big companies and investment banks could in due time be uncovered and their actions would then affect the entire market. We already see this happening with a famous Twitter account like Whale Alert, who tweets about transactions that are taking place on chain. If somebody moves 10,000 BTC to a certain exchange, it naturally triggers caution amongst the traders, thereby affecting market neutrality. Besides that, whales can move their stack up and fro ensuring fear and FOMO to their advantage, thus manipulating the market. And what about the personal ramifications if your ID is linked to your wealth and is public? This could lead to dangerous situations. Let's say a thief knows that you got a thousand BTC and all he needs is just a button and it's yours. Vanished. This is just the beginning of Dusk. There's so many untouched points, but the main point is that it calls itself differently. And that's why I'm not worried. Oh, I don't worry about holding this coin during a bear market. Would actually be good for Dusk. They need to give them some more time. See, it's sufficient to say that the Dusk transactions can prove that they are part of a KYC and AML compliant white list that meets the prerequisite conditions that are met at the same time maintaining the privacy of the issuers. These proofs and associated requirements are then verified through a successful verification. The smart contract allows the transactions to go through when the block is final. These privacy measures ensure that the Dusk network is compliant with the privacy requirements of regulated financial markets. Now, does Dusk network offer a unique value proposition? I think so. It's the first layer one privacy smart contract platform that aims to do, to do that without a trusted executed environment. See, that, the trusted executed environment is like a little black box where you can't see what's happening. Trust is not something you want. Dusk is simple. In math, we trust. Numbers don't lie. 
Humans? No, rather not. Humans lie. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you do, then please hit me a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks you for your support.